There is the fact that if you if you go on Twitter, you get I get a, a lot of stick. But what worries me more is not the nut jobs on Twitter telling me that I'm you know fat or ugly or stupid or whatever. It's the underlying <laughs> it's the underlying idea from the people who are so afraid for me that I, as a woman, cannot possibly handle that kind of difficulty, that I must be shielded like a child from that kind of thing. That's the more worrying argument, the patronization of people, rather than the actual deal of, you know, the fact that even when things are difficult, you can deal with it. I mean, I keep using the, the example of abortion. Abortion activists, I I've, I've do a lot of work on them. In the past, fighting for their arguments, women used to get pelted in the street. I mean, pelted and called baby murderers. And yet they still managed to champion their argument. And yet they still managed to win. Why is it that we women on the internet are not able to deal with a similar amount of uh, you know, con conflict? Why has it changed? Why should you have? Exactly. Yes, why, I mean, why should we have to? What, why do we have to die? Why do we have to live? Why do we have to deal with any kind of... It's, it's part of a personal responsibility as, a, as individuals in society be, to deal with these things. These would also be things that in an analogue world, if I get threatened with death on the street, if a man comes up and says he's going to kill me on the street and I stop a local cop and say, mm. Nigel here is getting a bit aggressive, I'm gonna, uh, we're going to have I a see. really different, right? We're going to have a really different yeah, yeah. conversation exactly. with that officer yeah. than if I just say this guy on Twitter named Monkey One Two Three mm. yeah. said that he's got, he knows where I live and he's mm. coming for me, right? And Twitter, I'll have to sort of write to Mountain View, and they'll be mm. like, oh God, you live in London, and nothing will happen, yeah. right? Or those kids, like these are it's. I'm with you. I'm a free speech speech advocate as well. I also think these are really you know, we have to have a real people solution. People are being arrested for what they tweet, by the way. Well, I mean but, that is yeah, happening, yeah. So. right? And so but how do we get the balance? I do right. completely resent what you said about women that you can survive all of this, and what's wrong with the rest of us? Actually, I really resent it. That's so. Uh, make you're so unaware of the level of abuse, of the level of intimidation of what that does to your psyche. Now, you might, you might be it, very Yasmin. much braver and stronger than me, but sorry, I am not prepared to live in your democracy where these anonymous cowards come for me hour after hour. And it's not the same as the suffragettes and the people who actually physically go out and, and fight as activists. Oh, it's this is a that. terrible force. And also, what about child pornography? What about all those vulnerable people who are now, I love the internet for all the good it does. I'm not a Luddite, but I'm not stupid about these freedoms, actually, because it's curtailing my freedom to sleep easy. May I also say, yeah. For more debates, talks, and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAITV.